Hello everyone. Again, I am Jai, and wish you all a good day. The content of our video today is about CRUD, using stored procedure and PHP programming language. Let's start. The first thing we will do is the stored procedure, but first we create a database table name. Employee master list, to use in our stored procedure because it is connected to each other. And this is our stored procedure. We will create SQL CRUD using stored procedures. What is a stored procedure? A stored procedure is a prepared SQL code that you can save, so the code can be reused over and over again. So if you have an SQL query that you write over and over again, save it as a stored procedure, and then just call it to execute it. In computer programming, create, read, update, and delete or crud are the four basic functions of persistent storage. Now, in pent mode 1, we will put the first basic function of persistent storage to create data. Before we can insert data into our database table, we need to validate the input parameters to be filtered, like our first name field example. Let's also validate the length of the value of the input parameters, so that it does not exceed what is set there in the database table. All we have to do is validate, all the values of the input parameters. We have set, a return function in our stored procedure, to stop the execution of our stored procedure, the equivalent of returned in another programming language is break, or the exit. The next validation, is to check, if it is already in our database table, to avoid having duplicate data. Then we get the last employee number, using the max function of SQL and let's add one value for the new data entry. And this is our insert function using SQL, to save the data in our database table. If the data saving process returns an error, we have a catch in case there is an error while saving the data. In mode 2 options, we say, this is our acronym for the letter R stands for read. We will only use the SQL select statement to read or retrieve the data, from our database table named employee master list. In mode 3, the acronym is letter U, which stands for update data. Again, let's validate the parameter values, before passing it on to our update SQL function, to filter our data, before saving it to our database table. That's it again. Let's first check if the data already exists. In the employee master list table, we will go through the update SQL function. If ever, there is no data, let's just return an error message. The condition in our update statement is the data ID. Last, but not the least. The mode 4, is the letter D stands for delete data. Again. Validate all parameters before going through the SQL delete function. Just check it again, if the data already exists, before going through the delete SQL statement. Finally, we have completed our stored procedure using CRUD. Now, let's check the functionality and accuracy. Just open a new tab, execute the stored procedure with the parameters. These are the values of our parameters, let's look at our stored procedure, in the correct variable we will put the value. For example the first variable is the pent mode. This is it.
Let's click the execute. When the execution of our stored procedure is successful, the parameters values will be saved in our database table. To check if the data is really saved, let's go to pent mode 2. Let's just replace it with 2. Oh, there it is. We already have a row of data in our database table. The functionality of the mode 1 is to insert or create data. Now, let's add more data to our employee master list table. We have finished testing in our mode 1 and mode 2 options. Let's take a look at our mode 3 options and test the functionality. We have something wrong guys, we were able to update the same employee number. Let's fix our stored procedure, let's add validation. Let's just copy and paste guys, for quick fixes and minor modifications. There it is. We already have validation for the duplicate employee number. Let's go to the mode 4, the delete function. It all works guys, so we can now use the stored procedure for our users. They just put values in the parameters and then click the execute. The next thing we do is the interface, or application, that our users will use, and it should be users friendly. We will create a web application, with the design for our CRUD functions. So, let's get started. We have four menu options, the names of our menu options are as follows. Create, Read, Update, and Delete. Our menu is in XML format file, and our web application reads the XML content. In XML, we have the ID menu and the description or name. We also have looping for our XML result, and it can be displayed to our users, which serves as menu options. In our menu event, we use the JavaScript function, which is on click.
These are the menu options, and let's test the create form facility. We just fill up the required fields, then when completed, click the save button. In our web application, we have basic validation using JavaScript codes. These are our codes, for create, here we input the employee information data. This is the dev element for the error displayed. Next is the onClick JavaScript function, for the save button. These are also the alert message validations. These are our input data parameters. On the backend side, we also have validation, placed in the process.php file, when its data parameters are completed in our validation. We will display the confirmation message. If ever the return value of our process.php file is successful, we have already displayed the confirmation message, and by clicking the yes button, we will call the submitted.php file, to execute our stored procedure. In pent mood, our value is set to 1, because we are in the create option. Let's use a SQL SRV prepare statement, and download it on the website of Microsoft the database connector. Another topic is how to install a SQL database connector, let's just focus on CRUD using stored procedure. If ever the execution of our stored procedure, returns an error output, our web application will read it as an error, and display it in our error message box. Let's test the mode 2, which is read a data. All our created data, from mode 1, is displayed here. This is the data we last entered. Let's go to the mode 3, it's almost the same as the read option, but we just added an update or save button, so that it can be change our data. Last but not the least, the mode 4, which is the delete options, and search the data you need to delete. The data is displayed first, before deleting it.
Finally, we have completed the CRUD function.